Hello everyone and welcome back to another Godot Community Spotlight video. If you're new here, I hope you feel right at home. Each week I try to shine a light on what people are doing with the Godot engine. I'm going to switch things up a bit this week and focus on a specific type of tutorial. And today I'm looking at auto tiling. Game Dev Journey. Godot 4 has totally overhauled the tile map system. So now is the time to watch some new tutorials to see just how much things have changed. The answer is a lot. So we can turn to Shevifier for a deep dive into all the features of the new tile map system in Godot and how it all works together. Shevifier is one of the best Godot tutorial makers out there, so you know that this is going to be of the highest quality. Go over there and watch the full video now. For a while now, Maker Tech has been running a code along series where you can make an action RPG in Godot. In episode number 9, they explain how to use the new tile map terrain feature in Godot 4. It's a very detailed tutorial which has been well received and is perfect for those who want to get started with the Godot engine as the pacing is excellent and the explanations of the choices made really helps you to understand. Maker Tech is another great channel to subscribe to for all things Godot. Another fantastic Godot tutorial maker is A98K and his tilemap tutorial is also very thorough and detailed. It takes you through everything there is to know about tilemaps in the new version of Godot. It's a long video but the chapters make it easy to jump to the sections you want to know more about or to pick up where you left off if you're going to watch the tutorial in small parts over a few days. Add this to your problem solving toolbox and subscribe to A98K for more. If you like colony simulation games, then you'll already know that they rely heavily on tile maps to work properly. Mantequila has been running an excellent code along series in which you can create your own colony sim in Godot 4. In the sixth part of the series, he demonstrates how the new tile map system works in a succinct and concise manner. This is another great tile map resource, so head over and follow the series now. Finally, if you've not made the jump to Godot 4 yet and you want to learn more about how tile maps work in Godot 3.5, then Shattered Reality has a nice tutorial specifically for you. It's a quick rundown of the features of the old tile map system and how to use them in your game, so be sure to subscribe to Shattered Reality so you get the updated version of this tutorial when it comes out for Godot 4. That's all for this week, thanks for joining me and I hope to see you all again next time. Thank you.